Hey guys, I'm here at Comic-Con ready to get my geek on and we're going to be here covering all the events so be sure to check out IGN's Comic-Con events hub to get all the news coming out of the convention including our all day live streams. Come Robin to the Daily Fix Mobile. Titanfall is adding in-game currency by way of the black market. With this in-game currency, you can access additional customization options for your Titan alongside the game altering burn cards. You'll earn these cards by filling a number of different criteria, like winning a match, having your first victory of the day, and more. Respawn has stressed that this is not paving the way for microtransactions, so don't worry. Valve has finally unveiled the latest version of its Steam controller, now with 100% more analog stick. The design was discovered by SteamDB, making it the third iteration of their controller update. The touchscreen has been dropped from its initial inception, and buttons have since been added. Take a look at the controller and tell us what you think in the comments below. Back in 2011, the PlayStation Network was hacked and millions of users' accounts were compromised. Now Sony has agreed to a $50 million preliminary settlement in a class action lawsuit over the hacking. Polygon has reported that if it is approved by a judge, Sony will offer gamers a choice of a PS3 or PSP game like Infamous, Little Big Planet, and Rain, or three months of PlayStation Plus. Of course, a judge won't rule on the settlement until May 1st of next year, but if it goes through, expect a notification and a claim form. Who doesn't love a good old claim form? It appears that there may be less Destiny Ghosts left in the universe than we thought, as Walmart is emailing customers to cancel pre-orders of the Destiny Ghost Edition due to stock shortages. The special edition of the game costs $150 and comes with an actual talking ghost replica. Walmart is now offering to switch pre-orders to this ghostless limited edition of the game, which still comes with several exclusive items. It's not known how widespread this issue is or if it has affected other retailers. I check your mail inbox just in case. And since we're at Comic-Con, it's time for our Comic-Con update. Warner Brothers has released a new action-packed trailer for LEGO Batman 3, and it's packed with more heroes than you can shake a LEGO brick at. Also, space, because everyone loves Batman in space. The upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie now has its own mobile game tie-in, and it's available right now. The announcement also revealed that each of the turtles has their own unique special attack, which can be chained together to trigger a turtle power minigame. The mobile game also includes a survival mode and in-game challenges. Speaking of turtles, there's an actual pizza-throwing vehicle right here at Comic-Con. I'm not even joking. And now it's time for our daily Firefall giveaway. Today we're giving away a digital deluxe edition of Firefall, which comes with $100 of in-game content, a Rocat gaming pack, and this stylish hoodie. For a chance to win, just tell us who you would love to cosplay as. You don't have to be a cosplay expert to want to dress up as someone cool, so make sure to fill out the form using this link and leave your comment on this video on IGN.com for a chance to win. And that's your fix for July 24th. I'm Naomi Kyle. I'll see you guys at Comic-Con, and be sure to get your fix anytime online at IGN.